It was me being afraid of being a single mother again. It was me feeling like that would always be my destiny because that had always been what happened. Hey guys, so, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so big, it's crazy. Um, I hope everyone had an amazing holiday. Uh, I did, we actually hosted, it's our first time hosting, which is super exciting. Um, I was super nervous about it, but it went well. So it was nice, it was good to just get around family and friends and hang out and enjoy one another. So I'm just chilling. <laughs> Um, this is like my new space. It's not super decorated yet, but it's coming together. Um, I'm relaxing, getting ready for work tomorrow. And I'll be lying to y'all because I'm always like, I'm going to vlog or do something every day. It's not going to happen. Every day is not going to happen. But the last time I posted the reflections um, on my Instagram, which is linked below. So if you're not following, please follow Blend, Renee, blend, blend, blend. I never wear eyeshadow. So, just trying to be fancy. Whatever. Um, so, um, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, you should be. You should be. But, um, the last reflections I, I posted, I actually shot a video and I don't know if I deleted it or if my son who loves to play with my camera um deleted it but the like whole beginning part was gone so it's like well I want to film today so let me just I'll just redo it just just bump it because it's a really good topic so let's just get into all of that so I will insert a picture here and um it's oh it's me and my belly yeah that's what it is so it's me and this love a dumb bump that we have um i'll also insert pictures of the reveal that we did um so just a shirt that my husband made but it's a girl we're having a girl super excited um so she's actually going to be a junior uh, so she's the girl version of his name, and then my name will be her middle name. So she's both of our junior, I guess. Um, so I'm super excited because we've been calling her her um, pretty much the whole pregnancy. Towards the last couple months, I, I started seeing him, and that was kind of because I wanted a girl, but I didn't want to get my hopes up. So I was like, well, it's a boy. I think it's a boy. I think it's a boy because I'm not sick anymore. Nope, still a girl still a girl so super excited about that um but it just revealed some of my truth about being pregnant because i'm 32 um i have two sons biologically um four four sons um through my blended family excuse me um but i have two sons biologically and they are from two different failed relationships so i am a stereotype I was a single mother for a very, very long time. And every time I tried and really gave my heart to someone and <laughs> had a child, um, it just turned into me being a single mom again. Um, so having another child was terrifying for me, like terrifying, like to the point where I packed it all away so much that I was just like, I just don't want any more kids. I don't, I'm good. I don't want to have any more kids. I'm, I'm done. I had no desire to have another child. None, none. Like if you know me personally, you know, I was just like, mm, I'm good. <laughs> um, and through just being with my husband and us growing and just actually being at a place where I was comfortable and safe and it's not saying that relationship was perfect, but I knew it was long lasting. I know this is for the long haul. I know it's him and I against the world. I know that I will be able to bring a child into this world and not be a single mother. And that's huge for me. So the more comfortable I got in our relationship, 
the more comfortable I got in our marriage, the more comfortable I got with myself and being able to unpack that baggage that I carried myself, I realized that I did want another child. I did want to be a mother. I did want to do it again. You know, I felt like my family wasn't necessarily all the way complete. And one day we were driving. So my husband and I, we when we got married, before we got married, we both were like, we're not having no more kids. Like, we're done. And I kind of feel like he felt the same way that I did. Um, it was just bad situations for him, you know? So he was like, I'm not having no more kids. I'm good. Like, I'm not looking for nobody that want no more kids. Like, I'm good. And I know people who that change actually destroyed their relationship and their marriage when one person decided that they did want kids and the other was like, I still don't. So I um, actually, I think I'm pretty sure we will leave in my grandmother's house. And I was like, you know what, babe? I want another baby. And he was like, I thought you ain't want no kids. <laughs> no, mind you, we're already married. Um, and I'm like, I didn't, but now I do. And he was just like, okay. So we waited a couple of months because I was doing a lot with my job, like going to trainings and all of this stuff. So I was doing so much with my job that we waited. Um, and I stopped, I took my IUD out in the end of May. And then I went to be, a, I went to training for a month. So I was like, you cannot get me pregnant. You cannot get me pregnant. <laughs> um, and then June, you know, I was in training that whole month, stressed out. And then July, I went to another training, but it wasn't, it was like classroom type. Um, and then August, <laughs> I went um, TDY, which is when they send you somewhere to, to work. So I went to Jacksonville for two weeks and I worked. And when I came back... Um, so I had my birthday there and when I came back, it was the weekend of his birthday and we actually celebrated our birthday and that is the last period I had. No. So the last period I had was in July, but you know, you don't really get pregnant until pretty much a month after. It's a whole cycle of life type thing. So when we went to the Beyonce concert. Um, I like had a pad on. I was like, look, um, homegirl ain't come, but I'm not leaving a Beyonce concert to, to you know, get and put a pad on and bleed it through and looking crazy. So I went to the Beyonce concert with a pad on um, and she didn't come. I took a pregnancy test right before we left. So that Friday was negative. I was like, okay, so... I'm getting drunk, I'm having fun, I'm enjoying, the, you know, my weekend. It wasn't this month, okay, bruh. On the way back, I was like, okay, babe, still haven't had a period. So we stopped on the way back, which was Sunday, and we took pregnancy test, and that thing, st let me tell you, I am 16 weeks pregnant, that thing still stay pregnant. I'm like, dang, this got the best batteries ever, <laughs> ever ever and it's been such a delightful experience i am not by any means one of those like little blissful just so in love i feel so good type pregnant person i am just like okay I'm fat cheeks is fat face is fat tired i, I can't breathe <laughs> like i am over it at 16 weeks and, and yes i know we have a long haul a long way to go but bruh i am not like one of those like blissful i love being pregnant type of people i'm just not but it's what i wanted it's what i chose to do because of just the direction that my life was going. And with all that being said, I really just want to be like, you can still do it. Like, never say never because I was so struck. My family was like, like, don't, you know, count, you know, your situation out because of bad situations. But I was like, I was never, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> going to have another child and I was serious and I was okay with that.
but the more I learned about myself and really started unpacking that baggage, I realized that it was a fear. It was me being afraid of being a single mother again. It was me feeling like that would always be my destiny because that had always been what happened. No matter what you do, how good the situation is, or whatever, I would always end up being a single parent. <laughs> and I was like, I just, I can't. I, I cannot do that anymore. So I just shut it down. Just completely blocked out that part of myself and that part of my want and my desire because I was afraid of being hurt, being let down, letting my family down. Um, and I just closed it off. And I, I'm just here to say that you don't have to. You know, you don't have to just close yourself off to things that frighten you. It might not be a baby. Everybody don't want to have another baby. Like, this stuff is just a struggle, okay? But just whatever you desire, whatever you want, whatever you choose to be your path, even if it's terrifying, like the best situations, the best outcomes are after things that are terrifying. I was terrified to join the military, but I did it, and I'm so glad I did. Terrified to live in a city by myself, but I do it. Well, I don't do it anymore, but I did it, and it's all good. And so many great relationships and situations and friends and family have come out of it, and just so many different opportunities come after situations that you're totally afraid of. Like, my husband said he was never getting married again. Never. Done done but guess what say so when we met he <laughs> he changed his mind you know and it was terrifying and i'm pretty sure i still terrify him because i'm pretty scary but it's doable it's so doable and it's worth it honestly so you have to put your inhibitions. Is that a word? I think that is the word. <laughs> you got to put them to the side and go after that dream. Go after that business venture. Go after that relationship. Go after that job. Go after that, I don't know, whatever it is. Start a YouTube. So many people come to me and say, I want to start a YouTube. Just do it. You know, start a blog. Start a vlog. You know, whatever it is that you want to do. Just do it. You don't have to be afraid because the best things come after things that are, are terrifying i was terrified to have another baby but i know this is a beautiful experience that i am taking for granted right now <laughs> but it's worth it it's so worth it and yeah so thanks guys for watching hopefully you like this video it's just me like putting my little heart out there all the time as i do all the time um so please like and subscribe please follow me on instagram i am more active on there than i am on here totally um so hopefully i'll get another video to you guys this week um i'm like working towards getting back um i'm just so busy like trying to be great so i know after the new year it'll slow down because I'm just going to be pregnant. I'm going to stop trying to do all this whole stuff. Um, schools and, and classes and teaching and all this other stuff. And I'm just going to be fat. But until then, the next month and a half or so, I'm going to make it rock. So thanks guys for watching my video. And please like and subscribe.